Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my last video of 2019. I know it's so crazy, here we are. But I wanted to bring you guys part two to my best of beauty 2019, where I bring you all of the absolute favorite red or dye products from 2019. So in this video, we're going to be covering sunscreens, beauty tools, and moisturizers. If you missed Wednesday's video, which was part one to this video, where I talked about cleansers, serums, and masks, then don't worry, I will have it linked down below in the info box for you to go watch. But for now, we're going to talk about sunscreens, moisturizers, and beauty tools. So let's start with sunscreens because I am most excited about sunscreen. Probably my favorite sunscreen of all of 2019 was this guy. This is the Crave Beauty The Beat Shield. And I know it's a little bit confusing because nowhere on the website, nowhere on the packaging does it say that it is a sunscreen, but this is in fact a sunscreen. Crave Beauty wrote a blog post all about why they are not allowed to call this a sunscreen, but um, I will leave that blog post in the info box down below for you to go read. But basically this is indeed a sunscreen, it's just not called a sunscreen. So the reason why I love the sunscreen so much is because it is one of the most beautifully formulated, so just elegant, just such an elegant formulation. As you can see, it has kind of the texture of condensed milk. You can see it's like quite thick, it's not runny. This contains a number of really beautiful ingredients, including beetroot, um, vitamin C, resveratrol, and also EGCG, and also allotoin. So these all ingredients are really fantastic because what they do, and I'm gonna show you the texture of it as I'm talking, what it what these ingredients do is they're very soothing on the skin, they're very hydrating, and they deliver this amazing, like kind of like antioxidant punch to the skin. So in addition to these really fantastic ingredients that are really great for hydrating the skin and delivering antioxidants to the skin, it also contains newer chemical filters that are just so beautiful in sunscreens. They're ultra, ultra effective at preventing sun damage and um, aging of the skin, but also they don't leave a white cast on the skin. They're not chalky. They're not, you know, a gross like sunscreen feeling that a lot of mineral sunscreens have. This sunscreen does not have that. I would best recommend this sunscreen for people with dry to normal skin because as you can see on my skin right now, this is what I'm wearing on my skin. Um, and I'm not wearing any foundation. So this is just my skin with the sunscreen on. It has the most beautiful kind of soft, satin dewy finish. It's not quite dewy dewy because it's not like super shiny or anything, but it's not matte. It is a perfect in between. It leaves my skin feeling really healthy and looks really healthy. And I just think it's the best sunscreen of 2019 in my humble opinion. The next sunscreen comes very close. This is the Misha Essence Sun Milk SPF 50 plus with PA plus plus plus. This is a Japanese sunscreen, I'm pretty sure, and it is my favorite sunscreen for the summertime because it has a very matte finish. So just like, actually the all of these sunscreens are not mineral sunscreens strictly. They contain newer chemical filters that are available in other countries. The US is just so, so behind on sunscreen technology. It really bothers me because, you know, other countries like Japan and Korea and a lot of countries in Europe have all these fantastic sunscreen technologies, whereas the US hasn't approved um, a sunscreen ingredient, you know, through the FDA in a very, very long time. So we are clearly very behind. So what I really like about this formulation is that it doesn't leave a white cast at all, which, you know, I'm really, really passionate about because as someone with brown skin, you know, having a white cast in your sunscreen that makes you look gray or even purple can really deter you from using sunscreen. So if you can find a sunscreen that really works for you, doesn't leave a white cast, you're way more likely to actually wear that sunscreen and reap the benefits of wearing sunscreen. So I love this because no white cast and it leaves a matte finish, which is ideal for Texan summers because girl, it gets so hot here. Um, I don't want to have like a dewy or even like a very like hydrating finish to my sunscreen because I just don't want to have like greasy looking skin. The next sunscreen is also quite matte and this is something that I actually finished. So this is something that I got in France. This is the La Roche-Posay um, Anthelios Anti-Imperfections sunscreen. Now this is not like the 
La Roche Posay sunscreen that everyone talks about. I couldn't get my hands on that one for some reason. But I tried this one and I really, really liked it. Um, it has a pump packaging, which I think is just so awesome. It has a matte finish to it. It does leave a teeny bit of a white cast. So I do have to mix in some of my Drunk Elephant liquid bronzer to it to make it a little bit more similar to my skin tone so that I don't have like a mask um, when I'm wearing the sunscreen. But I do really like the texture of it. Um, it doesn't make me irritated, it doesn't make me dry, it just, you know, delivers a lot of protection to my skin. So this is also one of my favorite sunscreens of 2019. And then lastly, um, the sunscreen that I wanted to talk about that I used, you know, last year a lot is the CosRx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. I haven't repurchased it because the Crave Beauty, the Beach Shield, has really taken over my love for any sort of like hydrating sunscreen, but I will say that the CosRx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream is really, really good. It truly feels like a moisturizer as opposed to a sunscreen because it's just really, it's really nice. It's emollient. It just blends into the skin really beautifully. It doesn't leave a white cast at all. Um, I used that one a lot last year and I used it at the beginning of this year and then I forgot to repurchase it and then I discovered the Beat Shield or I like rediscovered the Beat Shield and I fell in love with this one. So that's a long story. But what I'm saying is that the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream is really, really good. It's just that the Beat Shield kind of took over my life. So those were four sunscreens that I fell in love with in 2019. We'll continue using them in 2020, hopefully. The next topic that I want to get into is moisturizers. And so probably my favorite moisturizer of 2019, maybe, maybe we're going to tie with another moisturizer, but the Belief Aqua Bomb. I did not expect to like this. I was sent this in PR and I was like, eh. Okay, like we'll give it a shot. Pretty sure this made this onto an anti-haul that I did a while ago because based on the ingredients, I just was not impressed. But then I tried it in person and I fell in love. It just has the most beautiful, lightweight, I don't know why I opened it completely empty. It just has the most lightweight texture to it. It delivers so much hydration to the skin without being too occlusive and too much on the skin. So I did use this a lot during the summertime when it was very hot and humid outside, but I freaking love this moisturizer. It's so, so good. Get your hands on it. It's amazing. The next moisturizer is a little bit controversial. Some people really hate it. Some people really love it. I happen to really love it. This is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I think it's really great. I I loved it over the summertime. My mom loves it. Um, it's just one of those very polarizing products. Some people hate it. Some people really like it. You be the judge. You try it for yourself. What I like about this is that it truly feels like a drink of water, a drink of hydration to the skin. How I use this is that I use it on top of my normal moisturizer as kind of like a water sleeping mask. I don't think it was intended to be used as a moisturizer alone because it is called a sleeping mask. And so for me, a sleeping mask is something that you layer on top of another moisturizer to kind of seal in everything and deliver even more hydration. So I really like this product. I'm going to continue to use it. I've definitely purchased a number of these for myself and my mom. And so it's just one of those things like either you love it or you hate it. Next product is, uh, so when I was saying that I was going to tie um, the Belief Aqua Bomb with something else. This was a product I was talking about. This is the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream to moisturize and protect. This is formulated with matcha and niacinamide, and I love matcha as an ingredient. That's all. Sorry. <laughs> I love matcha as an ingredient in cooking, in my beverages, and then also for my skincare because matcha has compound called EGCGs. So what EGCGs are is they're this really, really potent antioxidant that delivers so many benefits to the skin. And so I love the fact that they have matcha in here. And then also niacinamide, like I talked about in my previous video in my part one of my Best of Beauty 2019 video. Niacinamide is like one of my favorite ingredients of all time. I won't talk about it here because I've talked about it too many times and I'm sorry. But niacinamide is just so, so great. And so when I saw the ingredients of this, I had had to try it because I was like matcha, niacinamide, a ton of other great ingredients. I gotta have it. And so this has not disappointed at all. It is a thicker moisturizer. It's not lightweight. It's not gel. 
based like um, the Belief Aqua Balm or the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is like a true moisturizer. It's, I will show you, it, feel, it looks like a pudding. It's green because of the matcha, which I think is super cute, but I really like this. I have used it, you know, in the winter time now that the weather's getting colder and drier. This has really come in clutch to save my skin. Um, it's just great. Like I do recommend this for all skin types, especially if you have drier skin. I think you'll really like this. Something affordable. This is from the Inky List. Um, this is their hemp moisturizer, which I really, really like. I love how small this is. It is so great to travel with, in my opinion. It's just the perfect size to travel with. It's moisturizing without being not too occlusive. It's just like the great in between. Like when I first tried it, I was like, meh, it's all right. Like it's nothing special. But then I was like, wait, it is something special because it's like not too emollient, but it's not too occlusive. It's not too liquidy. It's not too thick. It's just perfect. So I like to travel with this a lot because it doesn't irritate my skin. It's just like a great baseline kind of product. It doesn't contain any actives to my knowledge. It's just there to moisturize the skin and hydrate the skin. So I really like this. And then lastly, this came into my life very late, but I have fallen in love with it. This is the Primera Intensive Cream, the Alpine Water, water? Alpine Berry Watery Cream. This is such a beautiful, thick, occlusive, ultra moisturizing cream for extremely dry skin. Now, my skin has been quite dry with all the travel that I've been doing, and so I have just completely fallen in love with this moisturizer that I got in Korea because it is just so, so thick and so occlusive and so hydrating and so moisturizing. I cannot stress to you enough like how much of a savior it's been for my skin. I only go in with a very, very small amount because a little bit goes very long way with this product but I can assure you like it's well worth the price. This is like a limited edition product, so I, I don't know where you can get it, but I assume that the original Alpine Berry Water Cream is also really, really good too. I haven't used a full size of it yet, but I have used a number of samples of it and I have really, really liked this one. So if you can't get your hands on the Intensive Cream, the original Alpine Berry Water Cream is excellent as well. And then lastly, a beauty tool that I wanted to talk about that I really got into in 2019 is of course the Luna Mini 2 from Foreo. I did um, some sponsored videos with them over the summer, I think, and everyone was like, do you actually use it though? And like, yes, I actually use it. I don't do sponsorships or anything that I don't actually believe in. So anyway, this is the Luna Mini 2. It is just super cute it makes cleansing so fun and so relaxing for me because it's just like a cute cool little device that you can use to cleanse your skin i think it's just such a novel idea it's so disruptive in the beauty industry because it's something that i've never seen before like a silicone facial cleansing device like what the heck but i think it's really great um all you do it's really simple to use there's like an on button right here and you squeeze your cleanser onto it and then you just glide it over your skin to cleanse and it really just delivers like this really gentle exfoliation that's not too much it can be a very aggressive face scrubber when i'm washing my face like i can really scrub my face too hard and that makes my skin irritated but when i'm using this particular product by foreo like i don't irritate my skin at all using it so that in itself is worth it but then also like the fact that it pulsates and you can kind of like give yourself a facial massage i think it's really exciting and kind of like a really nice way to like bring the spa to your own bathroom so if you're a skincare lover and a skincare addict and you just want to level up your skincare routine i really do recommend the luna mini 2 by foreo i think it's just a great travel friendly just fantastic device i just i can't say enough good things about it Okay, so now this is officially my last video of 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending this time with me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel in 2019. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe. So as far as direction for my channel goes in 2020, just very quickly, I wanted to update you. Um, it's going to continue to be really great skincare content that's all based in science, specifically based in chemistry because that is my forte because I did study chemical engineering during my undergrad. And so as a result, I took a ton of chemistry classes and I, I learned a thing or two. So chemistry based skincare videos going to continue to be the bread and butter of this channel. Um, I am launching something in 2020 that I'm really nervous about but really excited about and it's relevant to this channel. It's not like some random thing. Um, but it'll be 
tentatively January when you'll be able to get your hands on it. So I'm I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm really nervous, but if you want to see what that is and you know just stick around, I'll make a video about it, I'll make some Instagram posts. While you're at it, follow me on Instagram right here. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for an amazing year. Um, and I will see you next year in 2020 in my next video. Bye.